Welcome to DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise Tutorial Series. In this video, we are going to introduce real-time terrain follow using M3E. By turning on the real-time follow, M3E will use the downward sensing system to capture terrain data and use it for terrain follow flight. It can improve the data accuracy and overlap ratios in areas with uneven terrain. This slope should be less than 75 degrees. For now, only the Mavic 3 Enterprise series is compatible with real-time terrain follow under mapping and linear mission. It's recommended to use RTK for higher accuracy. Enable terrain follow and choose real-time follow. M3E will use the downward sensing system to capture the terrain data and use it for terrain follow flight while keeping enough data accuracy and overlap ratios. Then set the terrain follow height from 30 meters to 200 meters. For other parameters, you can watch another video to learn more. After setting all the parameters, tap the save icon to save the mission. Perform the mission. Choose a wide open area to take off. You can set several ground control points for data accuracy. You can bring up the mission from flight route or use this icon from the flight view. Complete the pre-flight check and mapping checklist. If you use RTK module, make sure the RTK status is fixed before the mission. About camera mode for mapping and surveying, S mode is recommended. Make sure the warping is turned off. Upload the flight mission and the aircraft will take off and perform the mission automatically. When the aircraft arrives to target area, you can adjust the camera parameters if you use S mode. During the mission, pay attention to battery life, RTK status, image exposure, storage of micro SD card, obstacle avoidance, and the mission progress. In altimeter area, you can check the real-time height difference between the aircraft and the ground. The abscissa indicates the route's elevation. The ordinate means altitude. The blue part is terrain data. The green line is flight altitude. The white line is speed vector with orientation. The red line and red number are maximum altitude. AGL means above ground level. If the mission couldn't be finished in one sortie, you can pause the mission, land the aircraft for battery exchange, and resume the mission. After the mission is finished, land the aircraft and check the status. Then you can transfer the data to a computer. Model Reconstruction You can use DJI Terra to reconstruct a 2D map or 3D model. Tap New Mission, Visible Light, and rename the mission. Click App Folder icon and choose the Mission folder. You can add Ground Control Point GCP from Aero Triangulation, Advanced, GCP Management for the data accuracy. Turn on 2D Map or 3D Model and enable the Output Coordinate System if needed. Then click Start Reconstruction. DJI Terra will start the reconstruction. Thanks for watching.